drugs or something. No, I'm totally, I just hate niggers. Fuck you, niggers. An impolite and mean-spirited person, a person of low birth, a peasant. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Lai Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret Bless Yahweh, Bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, as you saw it, you know, the video, you know, here's an Edomite that's expression, that's expressing her true feelings out and open, you know. Now, when I saw this, I wasn't excited, you know, I didn't get mad because the truth, it hit me. You know, this is the scriptures, the word. This is the true nature of Esau. And it gave me a few thoughts and meditating, you know, when I meditated on it. You know, here it is. This is the true, the true uh, feelings of Esau in which today they hide. They hide their true uh, feelings and, and their intentions toward you, Jake's. They hide it today because Esau is being weakened by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh First off, with the spirit of, of the Lord's mouth, and then with the brightness of his coming, the Lord is going to destroy you, Edomites. But um, there's a few things I was thinking. I said, yo, I can imagine, you know, back in hard bonded slavery, when, you know, they had us out there as the field, and they had, you know, those that was around the house. You had the field niggas and you had the house niggas. I can imagine her in her past life, you know, getting a lot of Jake killed and especially the men. Because at that time, when we was in hard bonded slavery, the Edomite woman, she would lie, you know, on Jake men. And if the, the man did, you know, if, if that man didn't want to lay down with her, or for whatever reason, she would get him killed or castrated. You know, meaning cutting his balls and his rod off, man. All right? It was a lot of evil things that Esau have done unto us. And they still doing it until this day. But it, but it's a little different. Because now the Lord has sent forth his prophets. He has lightened the affliction. You know? And Esau is hiding how they truly feel about you so-called Negroes. All right, you West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. You are the Hebrew Israelites. You know, this is why the elites, starting with the um, the international bankers, the house of, uh, of Rothschild, the Rothschild family, okay? This is why they, they want the school systems, or let me say not want, they are taking slavery, you know, black slavery, so-called blacks, Negro slavery out of the history books in public schools. These kids are not being taught slavery in which what happened to them, you know, in the past. You know, but they want you to remember 9-11. You know? So all these things, all, all you know, all these things that Esau is doing, he's hiding, he's hiding his hate towards you. And he's gonna release it. Cause you guys, you you so-called niggas, you Negroes. You know, because that's what you act like. You know, you act like niggas. You know, everything that's um, everything that's folly, you put on. Uh, you set, you set at, uh, you set with great dignity. Okay, you set on high, like like rap music. You know, becoming a rap and things like that. You guys are gonna realize that Esau is your enemy when he come in like a flood, 
when he forces the RFID microchip, which is known as the mark of the beast upon you. When Jacob's trouble, which is prophecy in the scriptures, that's going to come to pass. All right. There's something called Jacob's trouble. All right. Right before the judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Jake, you're going to go through it. The lack of food and water, a famine. All right. When, when they uh, declaring World War Three, you know, this place in which you call America is known as Babylon the Great. Mystery Babylon the Great. This place is going to be destroyed by fire. And that fire is thermonuclear fire, man. All right. North America is going to be the lake of fire. But let me not make this about Jake. This is about Esau, the chul. All right. Let me take that back down. All right. The, the chul, which I had... Um, Went into a quick Google and us brothers of the knowing and spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shah, we already know this. It says, Chul, an impolite and mean spirited person, a person of low birth, a peasant. And this is why their blood show forth through their skin, going back to their forefather Esau, which in Hebrew, his name is Ashashawan, Ashashawan, which means wasted away. Okay? And what's wasted away? His skin. His, his pigment show forth through his skin. You know, Esau, it tells you in Obadiah that he's the lowest among all the heathen. And now the Most High have made the lowest among all the heathen to rule the whole earth. Pertaining to Job 9 and 24. And also pertaining to the blessing that Isaiah gave his son Esau. The fatness of the earth and to live by the sword. So when I watch this video of this woman... You know, her voice is so annoying, you know, and it's to the point where it, it affects your spirit. So I can tell when Jake watched this, those that do not know that they, you know, don't know of this truth and don't know the Bible. It affects them because her voice, she got that, that, that demon that comes, that rings out of her, that gets into your ears, you know, that does something that makes you upset, makes you, you know, it makes your waters move <laughs> within your body, makes you want to react. But this is the true nature of Esau, you know, and um, if you brothers could, I advise, um, watch the Breakfast Club with Charlemagne. He did a take on this, and he made her donkey of the day. And um, not only this video, she's known for doing this. Uh, I think her name is Heather something, and they show her with other footage, where um, she was uh vandalizing a person's car. She's out in the street. Her, I think her brother came and was trying to grab her up. Like they, like she, they, 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 this woman, this is her spirit. You know, they call her this woman crazy and all that. Like you heard in the video, the lady said, was she on drugs? She turned around and said, no, you know, that's just in her spirit. You know, you know, the Bible does teach reincarnation, man. Whether you believe that or not, this is just a spirit coming back. This is the true nature of Esau. All right. And, um, I had a few precepts. That I'm gonna go into, which I want to start with. Um, I want to start with uh real quick. Uh, and you brothers, we all know these scriptures, so you know this word is repetitive. It's always, you know, the same scriptures coming out because it's edifying, you know, for those of the whole four elect. All right. So this is um, this is Romans chapter nine, and um, it says uh, Romans chapter nine verse thirteen. It says, as it is written. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. All right, and this is why this is why these so-called white people they don't want to be called Esau because if you look up Esau, you can even Google Esau, and it'll tell you a man that is has no repentance. You know, matter of fact, um, matter of fact, let me go to it real quick. Hebrews. This is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. And who did he sold his birthright to? Jacob. Okay, the forefather of the 12 tribes. Okay, he's the, excuse me, the father of the 12 tribes. All right, 
which is the 12 tribes is the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. All right. It says, least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward he would have inherit the blessing he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. All right. So even though he sought it carefully with tears, the Most High told him, hey, he was rejected. There is no repentance for Esau. Esau is not making it into the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be here on earth and they're going to rule. This is their kingdom now. And this is our hell. But the roles are going to switch. The transfer of power is going to change, man. All right. It says, for, he, for ye know how that afterward he would have inherited the blessing. He was rejected. Esau was rejected. So when you see in this woman right here, you know, her hate and why she in that spirit is because the most high hates her, man. The most high said, I have loved Jacob and hated Esau. This is an Edomite that was rejected from the heavenly father. Let me say that again. This is an Edomite that is rejected from the heavenly father. All right. The power that governs the whole world. That governs the universe. Yahweh. Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which means in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai, the deliverer. All right, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Edomites are rejected. So when they act like this, it's in their nature to be the son of perdition, to be uh evil. You know, you know, when you read about Esau's blessings, it tells you that what? He was a uh he's a cunning. And, and uh, he lived by the sword. His blessings is the sword. And that's just destruction. So, you know, shame on you guys that's out there. And you're, you know, you see this, you see this Edomite as this, this white hope. You know, this, um, this pure, this pure race. You know, they're not white, they're red. Adawam, okay? Which is Hebrew for red. They, they're not pure. Everything that they have, they stole, they raped, robbed, and murdered. And every time we bring these things up, you got Jake two thirds that are house niggas that are, that that are hate to hear that. You got Edomites that are hate to hear that. But this is facts. This is truth. Everything that they have, they raped, robbed, and, and murdered and stole from you, man. Just like they stole us as a people from one continent and brought us to another. All right. So. With that being said, Hebrews 12, uh, Hebrews, this is Hebrews 12 and 17. I'll read one more time. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So there is no, re no repentance for Esau. So for you other camps out there that's of the circumcision, knowing who you are, you got Edomites in your camp. You're going off. All right. And guess what? I'm going to hit you with something. If you didn't know, you got men, women that may look like they're Edomites, blonde hair, blue eyes. But in fact, some of them are Israelites. All right. And if they wake up to this truth, hey, they possibly could be of the elect because that's how the Heavenly Father have, uh, you know, he made things uh, through our wickedness. You know, he scattered us. He dispersed us through the four corners. So you got Israelites that don't look like your typical, regular, known Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanics, and Native and Seminole Indians. All right. So now um, I read Romans 9 and 13. Let me go back one more time. Kind of went over that fast. This is Romans chapter 9, verse 13. It says, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated so let that sink in let that sink in it says what oh matter of fact before I finish that and if you think you know you know you coming across the scriptures the first time and you hearing this you might be feeling some type of way well let that scripture sink in which is the New Testament now let's go to the Old Testament right and this is Malachi chapter 1 verse 1 the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, saith the Lord Yahweh, 
Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I loved Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom say, we are in province, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall and they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. So let that sink in. Let that sink in. The Lord called them the border of wickedness, the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. And indignation actually means a uh, 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 righteous anger, man. OK, you know, a man can also can be angry righteously you know Esau makes it to where if you angry you know you this bad person you know you have every right to be mad if someone kills your mother kills your son you know or do something wicked unto you you have every right to be mad but the scriptures say be ye angry but sin not because in this time it's not wise for you to take up arms for yourself you know this is also punishment for us Hebrew Israelites this is punishment you know, of us going off against the Most High. All right. But notice, let it sink in. The border of wickedness and the people against the against whom the Lord have indignation forever. All right. So now let me go back to Romans. Let's go back to Romans chapter 9 and 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. All right. Now I'm going to play a little bit of this. So you don't forget about this video. Yeah, she's on drugs or something. No, I'm totally. I just hate niggers. Fuck you, niggers. I hate niggers. It's okay. We're calling the cops on you. I would kill. I would kill a nigger, but the law says I can't kill the niggers. If the law didn't say that I couldn't kill the niggers, they'd all be dead! Here's my license plate number! Nigger! 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 You know how to keep that fresh in your mind. You know, once you're going away from what you just saw. Now this is Romans 9 and 14. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. Because a lot of you jokers today dealing with Christianity, with that plantation slavery doctrine, that them government churches that are brought out by the government, all right, you would say you can't hate. Well, here it is. I'm reading the New Testament, Romans, with Paul, Romans 9 and 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid, meaning no. There is no uh, unrighteousness with the Most High. The Most High is righteous, man. He created the, the righteous. He created the, the good, the evil. All right? And what he says is, is, is what goes. All right? He determines what's righteous and what's not. Just like he gave us, us Israelites, a set of laws to live by, to be holy. Which holy goes into be separate. We're separate from the other nations. We're not wild beasts. Today you are. You, you, you have become... Degenerates, you have no law, you have no morals anymore. A lot of Jake's today is homosexuals and transsexuals, man. You know, set folly and great dignity, man. You know, you choose the world, then you would you rather choose your heavenly Father, who who gave you that uh that spirit, man, who made you better than the rest. The Lord said we are a special people, not Esau. He said Jacob, man. He said Israel. Jacob's name was, cha was changed to Israel. So it says, For he say to Moses, I have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Because the Lord told Moses that. He will have mercy on who he feel like he should have mercy on, and he will have compassion on who he will have compassion on. You know? Most high don't have compassion or mercy toward Esau. This is why Esau was rejected. So when you see them like this, when you see them in this type of spirit, showing their true colors, showing their true uh, feelings towards you, don't even get mad. You're supposed to know that those are your enemies, man. 
Now that might mess somebody up, but um, I'm gonna get a quick preset, quick preset. Baba Kusha, y'all, Bashim Yahusha, Lord will. All right, I want to bring this up because you'll say, well, we can't have enemies, you know, they're not our enemies, you know, that's just one white person. No, nah, they all like this. All right, a lot of them just been either uh, doctrinated into this society to where they think that you know um, uh, it's wrong for them to be that way. You know, because the rest of the majority don't accept that way anymore. Well, guess what? They can't help it. It's in their spirit to feel that way. This is why some Edomites don't even know why they hate black people. This is why you got so, so many black and Latinos that say, I don't understand why white people hate us so much. Why they hate us so much? Because you don't know your history. You don't know that it goes back. Well, you don't know the spirit. You don't know the Lord. You don't realize that it goes back to Jacob and Esau. It's what we've been trying to tell you guys, man. But the only ones going to get it is the elect. And that's it. We telling you. The prophets are telling you day by day. Day and night, man. But you will not receive it. Because, hey, the Lord ain't dealing with you, man. Alright. Um, let me get the scripture real quick. Uh, Baruch. Yep. Baruch 4. And I'll try to get to the point. Uh, this is Baruch 4 and 5. Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel, which represents the memorial of Zion. All right. It says, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved God to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. So why was we sold amongst the nations? All right. Going back to the, the, uh, the, uh, the slave trade. Okay. You had... Um, you know, Edom, you had Ishmael, you had Ham. Ham rounded us up. Ishmael made the boats. Esau sold us. All right. The triangle slave tree. We were sold on auction blocks, man. And that wasn't that long ago, man. It says, ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction. Meaning, not that we were going to uh, never be the Lord's uh, chosen again. Meaning, we were all going to die out. Esau wanted to kill us off the face of the earth. Okay. The elites, the elites have taken away his own people's blessing. He have even made his nation slaves unto them. Check that out. The elites are Edomites. They the house of Esau, the Rothschilds, all right? And all the uh, international bankers, building birds, Rockefellers, DuPont, all of them, man. Really, they all go back to being the Rothschilds, okay? They are so wicked that they made their own people which are you regular Edomites that work in the field that work out there in the world with your prestigious jobs and things of that nature you're not living in this kingdom on an elite level you might have got crumbs you might got a little bit of riches you might got better than Jake got but guess what you were shortchanged by your own people man so it, excuse me so anyway you were sold to the nations not for your destruction but because ye move the most high Yahweh to wrath ye were delivered unto the enemies for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils not unto not unto the most high Excuse me. ye have forgotten uh-uh i got it it says ye have forgotten the everlasting god that brought you up and ye have grieved jerusalem that nursed you all right for when all right that's basically the point so now let me go back romans 9 i'm gonna try to shorten this lesson i know it's getting pretty long romans 9 and um 14 what shall we say then is there unrighteousness with god god forbid for he say unto moses i will have mercy on whom i will have mercy i will have compassion on whom i will have compassion so then it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of god that showeth mercy so it's not of man you can't do anything it's of the most high most high does everything it's the lord that belongs to the issue of death if anyone dies hey the most high sanctioned that man somebody could be before you standing a foot before you and shoot you at close range in a gun jam or the gun go in a different direction that's because the angels the lord had the angels to protect you man it wasn't your time to go the lord does everything man the lord said uh uh he created the evil he created the good man all right, even if you rich, the most high makes you rich. And guess what? If you rich on this side, that's a bad thing. To be honest, 
Why would you want to be rich on this side when we got the riches uh, uh, which is coming with Yahweh Shai? Our new bodies being rulers of the earth, ruling over you other nations, having spiritual powers, you know, being made perfect, man. I would rather have that than to have these whack ass crumbs today and these little toys that these these dudes play with, you know, chasing after women that are, that, that are not even virgins. They're chasing after other men wives. That is crazy. You know, anyway, it says, um, verse 17, for the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose, have I raised thee up that I might show my power in thee and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So it's all about the Lord. It's about him and his name. This is one reason why the Lord, uh, you know, have, uh, 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 let me say this. This is one reason why the Lord is, um, uh, excuse me. This is one reason why the Lord must be exhorted because he's given us back his name. Okay. He took it from us. When he took his name from us. All right. We went into slavery, hard bondage. We forgot who we were. We lost our identity. Our identity was stolen and robbed by these Edomites. They're now calling themselves the Jews. All right. The Jewish, which the ish meaning pertaining to be, meaning they're not the original. They're pertaining to be. They're acting, you know. But anyway, it says, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will heart. Excuse me. Therefore, have he had mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will he hearteneth. Thou will say then unto me, why doest he yet find fault for who have resisted his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that repellest against the most high? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it? Why hast thou made me thus? Have not the powder power over the clay and the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Who is he talking about? He's talking about Jacob and Esau. He have made what? One vessel for honor and another vessel for dishonor. So when you see, going back to the video, when you see this woman here, this Edomite, know that she an Edomite. You know, she was made unto dishonor. We read already who this Lord said he loves and who he hated. So who was unto honor? Jacob. Okay, which name was changed into Israel. Being called what? Israelites. All right, Hebrew Israelites, just like Esau. He's in Hebrew Edomite, you know? Um, all right, I have a few more scriptures. And let me see, let's uh, get them real quick before I wrap it up. Uh, Revelations chapter 13, verse nine. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. And when you see that word saint, that represents the Israelites. Here's the patience and the faith of the Israelites. And in particular, the elect of the Israelites. All right, because they're the ones that's woken back up to this truth. They're the ones that's crying out to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai daily, man. You know, giving the Lord no rest until what? He established the kingdom, which is going to be here on earth. Okay. So he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And Esau have not went into captivity after he put us into captivity. And a lot of you jokers don't think that you're still in captivity. Because you think because, oh, I could go to work. I could come home. I got my girl. I could buy me a dog. You know, I could get my car. I could smoke my weed. I could drink my liquor. I could watch the football game, the basketball game. You think you're free. This is why you still have that what they're doing, they modernize slavery. You know, this is why now they're on the next stage of planting chips inside your body, which is the mark of the beast. That's the next, that's the goal as they doing right now as I speak. That's the prophecy being fulfilled, written in Revelations, man. You know, we're living out the prophecy of Daniel's the second chapter. Okay, the iron and the clay mix. We're at the we're at that point where the Roman, the Roman uh, Empire, the Edomites, Roman Empire, all right, is in that, they're in that stage of the clay, okay, mixed with the clay. When you read about Daniel's uh, interpretation of the dream for Nebuchadnezzar, man, all right, we're in that stage now. We're at the end, we're at the feet, we're at the toes, that's going to be smashed, man, okay, by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, 
Um, he that leave into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Now, if you all in your emotions, you need to check your emotions because I'm reading scripture. This is King James Version Bible. This is scripture. This is not coming from my own personal opinion. This is scripture. So get out of your feelings, man. Okay. Uh, let's get the next scripture. This is um, Numbers chapter 35 and 33. It says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. This is why the Lord has a, has a, a grievous... Grievous, grievous destruction coming upon Babylon, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of Horlicks, which is known as America, North America. There's a destruction. The Lord is going to truly cleanse this land by the way of fire. Okay? He cleansed the world before with water. Now he's going to cleanse this, this uh, God forsaken, abominable land which was stolen. By an impolite, mean-spirited person, a person of low birth, a peasant, which is Esau, that robbed this land from the Native American, Native Seminole Indians, man. Let me say that. It says, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. You see? See, the Lord is about taking action. And that's why we, uh, us of the knowing, and the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, the whole four elect, we got to wait. We got to wait upon the Lord for these things. In the meantime, we're going to continue to prophesy until the Lord close the doors of our mouth. You know, shut up the prophets and bring a famine on the word. Once the Lord close up the, the, uh, the mouths of the prophets, guess what? It's ball game. Esau think it's, it's, it's going to be, he going to have a playground. He going to be able to be freely to go and try to kill the elect of the Lord. You know, do as he want to all of you people, man. All right. Let me, I say I should say that. But guess what? Just know that he at the end of his kingdom because Yahweh Shai is coming like a thief in the night. All right. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Call Halal La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. And I got one more scripture. Since I wrote it down, I bring it out. This is um, uh, Psalms chapter 58. Brothers should know where I'm going Psalms 58 And uh, verse 1 It says do ye indeed speak righteousness O congregation do ye judge Uprightly O ye sons of men Who are the sons of men the other nations Alright you got three classifications Of men you got the sons of the Wicked which is Esau you got the sons Of men which are the other nations And you got the sons of the most high man Okay which are the Israelites So it says Verse 2 it says, Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, which is the mind. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Doesn't Esau do that? Doesn't Esau has rule over the world? Okay. Isn't everywhere he set up his democracy, he uh he brings forth his 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 structure, his system, his society upon people, his his laws. He wants the whole world to accept homosexuality and especially the the, the behavior of it, you know? That's wicked, man. Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are extreme from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. So there you go. You know? Hey, this woman right here reminds me of a squilling pig, man. You know? She go, hey, you know that she's uh, of a lie. She would tell a lie in a heartbeat. Okay? And this is a woman, an Edomite woman, that's not afraid to express how she feels. That's how I see it. That's how I look at it. I'm not mad. You know? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is going to deal with her when he do. Okay? But it, but, but it, it should get you mad, though. It should get you some type of way. It should get you to think, man. You know? Your emotions should be bothered. But in righteousness, man. Not in trying to, uh, you know, continue to keep yourself conditioned into the mind of Esau. Because what Esau is doing... With his um his philo his false philosophies, he's destroying you, Jakes. You know, giving women power over men, 
you know, making you women, uh, 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 basically making you out of order, man. Because given given power to women, you know, and, and women not having structure, you you are the Lord deprived you of understanding. You make all the wrong moves. You go out here and be a whore. You jump from man to man. The the ideology of a woman of uh, Israelite woman's mindset is 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 sickening, man. To the point where it's, it's so many of the multitude of Is these two thirds of Israel doing it, these women, that they think it's okay, and that and what that's doing that is drawing you down the line to meet judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, whether he hail for bear, that's just the truth. It says the wicked are estranged from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like a poison of a serpent. That's that wine, man. That's the philosophy, you know. Women wearing pants. Women, all these women today over here where I'm at, got all these blonde hair, blue hair, purple hair. Who told you that you look good like that? You know, who told you that you look cute because you got purple hair? You look like a fool. You ever, see, yo, just picture this. You see a dark skin, melanated woman, chocolate woman with purple hair. You know how stupid and ugly you look? She got blonde hair, red hair. You look stupid, man. It says the wicked are strained from the wound. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Because why? Why is the Lord comparison their poison like a poison of a serpent? Because what happens is the Lord is uh, talking about the false philosophies that Esau, the ideology, the mindset, his, his beast, his beast nature. Okay? Homosexuality. You know, all of that, 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 that comes from him naturally for being a beast. Okay. It, it sinks within you. It's like poison. If a snake bites you, a venom snake bites you, you don't die right away from the bite. You die from the poison. It sinks into your bloodstream and give yourself maybe an hour or whatever, how long it is. You die if you don't get treated or get the poison out of you. Okay. So his poison, it says their poison is like the poison of a serpent. Because meanwhile, while they keep beating upon you with social media and all of this media, they keep beating upon you and having their uh, with your propaganda, having their uh, actors go out and having their, with their lying speech, they the chore, man. They the chore. They, the news, they the chore. They, they, they lying. They, you know, they, they go out there with their narrative and they lie to you people and you pick it up, you know. You pick it up. You eat it up. It says once, once they continue to keep doing that, Eventually you you fall in the poison is set. It says they are like the death adder that stop of the air Exactly, you know because when it comes to this truth, they're constantly at work and uh, Perverting the gospel man, okay Chain turning back you from learning this truth. They don't want you to know who you truly are They don't want you to call back unto your Heavenly Father and the Son Okay, our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. They don't want you to do that because they're going to lose their kingdom. You're not going to live in this wicked, God-forsaken place for too long if you cry out, man. You know, so um, it says, verse 5, which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Charming never, never, never so wisely. Break their teeth, O Yahweh, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be cut in pieces. As a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away. Like the untimely birth of a woman that is that that they may not see the sun. Now that is cold. That's cold right there. Who is this? You know? Hey, that's cold right there. That's that's man. Let me read that again. It says, break their teeth, O Yahweh, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When they bend of his bow to shoot his arrow, let him be cut in pieces. As a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away. Like an untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can fill the thorns, he shall take the, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. It says that it says the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. So you better believe it. When these prophecies continue to keep 
come into pass when the major prophecies like the force of the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, when they declare in World War III, when Jacob's trouble, when the famine of the word, famine of food and water, the scriptures say the righteous shall rejoice when he see of the vengeance. Because the righteous gonna rejoice when the wicked get dealt with, man. Starting with uh starting with you Israelites, then to you Edomites. It says, He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Now this is scripture. This is the Bible talk, man. That's why a lot of you don't uh you don't understand. Well, let me say this: you don't care, you don't desire the Lord, because the Lord is too rough for you, for you feminine people today. You feminine Israelites, man, or you, you know. You can't understand the scriptures. You, you, hey, but you know, us as the men of the Lord, we catch all the hell because we bring these things out. You know, as if you hate us. You know, it's not really that you hate us so much. You hate the one that sent us, as Yahweh Shai said, which is the Heavenly Father. You hate the Father and the Son because it's of the Son while we able to be sent out. So you hate Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So it says, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power, a God, that judgeth in the earth. And that's going to come to pass. We're going to actually say that, man. We're going to actually say that when the Lord start raining vengeance upon the wicked, man. So, I hope this lesson was edifying. I know it's pretty long. I had these scriptures, but it's the spirit of the Lord. You know, um, it's the video. I'll play it one more time, and that's it, man. So, hey, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom. I would 